Now in my videos, there have only been a few spots that I've gotten backlash for skating, spots that skaters refuse to skate. And those spots are as follows, graveyards, memorials, homeowner's property, and freshly painted spots. In a previous video, I went street skating all day and this was the spot that people got most upset about. Okay, this isn't the spot actually, but I just passed by this on the way there. And I mean, I have to try a little bit. Look at this thing. Now this spot is typically one New Yorkers would recommend you not go to because of how big of a bus factor it is, but I still haven't gotten kicked out and I could last much longer, but I need to save energy for the rest of the day. So let's go to that spot I was talking about. Well, it was this spot right here until they built these guards that you can't skate it, but a lot of people said that this was a memorial spot and that I was being disrespectful. Now I promise I'm not being petty. I'm the one who made the mistake. I didn't realize this was a memorial because I just figured that all of these right here were the memorial and this was just some random obstacle. But then upon further investigation, please respect this memorial. No sitting, standing, or skateboarding. At least sitting was also seen as a crime, but maybe we can find something around here to skate that isn't part of the memorial. <laughs> Sundays in New York is when it is time to skate. I still haven't gotten kicked out even though those two spots were insanely high bus factors. And also I'm still at about 50% in terms of health. My back still hurts a little bit, but this morning I woke up and it felt substantially better. So I'm taking advantage of the moment. But the truth is almost every single day if you see me skating in the streets, I'm breaking the law. So it is technically illegal. So I realize in terms of spots that skaters refuse to skate, it's completely subjective. But for me, it's really hard to say. It depends how bad I want the trick. It depends how amazing I feel like the moment will be, but I will pretty much never skate a spot that's freshly painted. Unlike this beautiful ledge raw here. So what do you guys think? Even though I'm technically not supposed to skate there, there was no one around, there was no one that I felt like I was bothering, do you think it's still bad or good? Do you think the law is the law or that I should just approach it like I did that, where it felt okay, so I skated it. I also cannot believe how much better my back feels. I know I'm going on and on, but I will make a video about what I did to go through a back injury that I thought was gonna last me a month. It took like five days, but that'll be on my Patreon. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. It's basically a new beginner's trick tip tutorial every week for $5 a month. So there's this insanely famous ledge that a lot of people skate, but now they put these benches out, even on Sunday, when I don't think there's anyone here. And would I go through the trouble of moving the benches to skate it? Well, typically, probably not, but I've never skated this, so I feel like I need to do one trick in the history of my existence. I've officially skated the spot and I'm not gonna push it because of my back. Now this, my friends, is a perfect example of something that I would feel bad skating. Personally, it's this perfectly white painted area with art on top of it, but this is a popular skate spot. I just, I, I can't muster up, muster it up to do it, mustard. Then we see obviously where the skaters have dominated and even seeing that, then the temptation changes where I'm like, well, it's already messed up but there's also a security guard right there and I don't think he'd be happy. So what are the rules for you in terms of what you will skate or what you think that people should skate? For me, those are my rules, but I would never tell someone what they should or shouldn't skate because it's subjective. I have my rules, everybody else has their own individual rules. And I am astonished that I got away with that kind of skating today. Not only the spots, but my back, holding it together, feeling so much better from a quick switch of yesterday. It's only been five days, and every single day I've been skateboarding just a little bit. A little bit of training, a little bit of exercising every single day.
amazed at how I feel right now, but if you do want to keep up with the weekly tutorials, Patreon will be down below. It's a fun community over there of just everyone helping each other out with skateboarding, etc. So if you are an aspiring skateboarder, which I would recommend to everyone out there, check that out down below. And also, and for any of the sexy, amazing, heavily attractive human beings out there who bought one of the clothings that I just released last week, we sold out. On that note, thank you sincerely from the bottom of my achy, breaky farts. I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video because that's how we do it. And on Thursday, there's an epic video for your face because I am enjoying this process so much. And it seems like you guys are too. My last three videos all have over 100,000 views. Crazy. Thanks so much for the love, so much for the support, so much for the fa I'll see you next time. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep going up.